So originally we were just basically trying to show that the system that we have going on is a, a flat proof uh, combination between a, a Kenda tire and a Nitro Moose. And with that being said, taking a chainsaw to it seems unrealistic for sure, but it gets the point across. If I was running a tube, you definitely wouldn't have been able to take a chainsaw to it, keep the tire from deflating, and put eight hours worth of riding on it. So we're gonna take this tire off and show you guys what the Nitro Moose looks like. A lot of people say putting moose bibs in without a tire changer is next to impossible, but I haven't owned one tire changer and I've been able to put these things on and off easy. So mostly we rode enduro cross. I think I put three to four hours worth of riding enduro cross on it, taking it through rocks, logs, firewood. Um, and then to cap off the end of the day in the video, we went out and rode off road and it was a mixture of rocks, loose dirt, uh, sand washes, rock gardens, and it, it pretty much went through all of it with no problems. I didn't notice any flat spots on the tire. Uh, it really gave me the, the best feeling, even though the tire was starting to wear down. That's after all the cuts. There's about four cuts in this tire. Here's one cut. Here's another. Here's where rock got in the tire and the slit. And that's all the damage that it did. So honestly, I was actually really expecting once I made these cuts that the, the moose was just gonna wanna tear apart on me. And the more time that I put on it, it was just gonna keep ripping up on me. And you know, after putting some time on it and from the looks of it, little rocks were getting in between the tire and the, the moose. And it, it's just leaving little dent marks. And it's pretty standard that once you pull these out of a tire, you wanna leave them sit for a day and just let them kinda open up back up and then you can put them back in and keep using them and usually they'll last a lot longer if you let them breathe um, so after looking at this honestly it, the the gashes don't look dangerous to me you know if these were starting to split all the way through I would be concerned but we made these cuts and they're not even getting worse uh, this is, you know, like I said, with over eight hours worth of riding and these cut marks haven't changed. They haven't gotten deeper, they haven't gotten worse, they don't look nastier than when I originally had cut them. Um, the only thing that I've noticed is when the rocks have gotten into the tire. Um, so with that being said, it's, I feel like this is a, a, a pretty flat proof system to go out and finish a race even if you were to ruin a tire. So. I, I'm confident, you know, this is the best system out there to keep your, yourself going and not having to worry about tire issues.